Hello everyone and thank you for joining me today. As always, I really do appreciate each and every one of you. If you would, please hit the subscribe bell if you're not already subscribed. Hit that notification button so you can be notified when I put new videos up. And please share this information if you feel like this is important information. You can also find my YouTube channel just by typing in Lori Anderson dot com l o r r i a n d e r s o n dot com until my website is fully operational now yesterday the pete santilli show um covered that william barr was going to be having a interview with sean hannity and it was supposed to be some breaking news william barr uh on the sean hannity said it may not be big news to everybody else however it is some news that is coming down and I'm going to share that information with you as we go along. Be sure if you want to check out Pete Santilli, you can find uh, one of his web pages is petersantilli.com of which I also write articles for and also you can check out the Pete Santilli show.com. We must share this information because YouTube algorithms, Facebook, and everyone else is censoring. So also, if you want to join me on Parlor, Parlay, as it is pronounced, I'm live, L-I-V-E-W-I-T-H-L-O-R-R-I. I hope to see you there. Okay, so before I play Sean Hannity's clip for you, and I'm not going to play the whole entire clip, um, I'm going to leave that in the description box below so you can see the whole interview. Um, I want to make a point. FISA warrants is supposed to be foreign intelligence surveillance. These warrants a lot of times are created by the FBI, but nobody has the right to dispute before these, before these warrants are, are given. And they're not just spying on foreign intelligence. These individuals are using FISA warrants to monitor and surveil American citizens. It is very important because if they can set up and surveil a former CIA operative to target a civilian that is running for president of the United States of America, then they can do this to any one of us. This is not about Republican. This is not about Democrat. It's not about independent. It's not about liberty lovers. It is completely unacceptable, no matter what side of the spectrum you are on, because this type of behavior is what destroys your right your unalienable right to due process. It destroys your unalienable right to be left alone. And it weaponizes the government agencies against every one of us. It doesn't matter if you have an R behind your name, a D behind your name, or nothing behind your name. This violates everything that our constitutional republic stands for. So... With that being said, I'm going to play a clip from Sean Hannity with William Barr and uh, their discussion yesterday, because today there's some breaking news, and I will go farther into that. All right, as we continue our exclusive interview with the Attorney General of the United States, uh, Attorney General Barr, Mr. Attorney General, um, President commented, uh, you were very clear. By the way, you, let me first say, you had the patience of Job on steroids and human growth hormone when you went before that clown show uh, in Congress. God bless you for it, because I don't think I have the patience you do, and it was really de pretty despicable to me. Um, the president weighed in on dorm. You were very clear in your testimony. The president doesn't tell you what to do. You're independent. Um, the president said today that he hopes that the dorm report and, the, and that you as attorney general won't be politically correct. Um, I hope that too, I, Mr. Attorney General. I spent three years unpeeling the layers of an onion in terms of premeditated fraud on a FISA court. Uh, you have deleted subpoenaed emails. You have a knowledge we know that they were warned in August of 2016 not to trust that dossier, which was the bulk of information for the FISA warrants, the subsource in January of 2017 confirms none of that was true and it was bar talk i guess just as the wheels of justice turn slowly uh i feel impatience over it can you give us any update uh yes sean well first you know as to the 
as to the political correctness, if I was worried about being politically correct, I wouldn't have joined this administration. Uh, <laughs> that's as I that's actually clear. a good line, too. Okay. Yeah. yeah, well, as I made clear, I'm going to call him as I see him, and that's why I came in. I thought I'm in a, I think I'm in a position to do that. There are two different things going on, Sean. One, I've said that the American people need to know what actually happened. We need to get the, the story of what happened in 2016 and 17 now out. That will be done. The second uh, aspect of this is if people cross the line, if people involved in that activity violated the criminal law, they will be charged. Okay, so what we need to take out of this, I'm not going to play the whole thing. This, this belongs to Fox News. I will put a link in the description box below so that you can see the entire interview. Fear not. However, what we do need to take from this of what Attorney General William Barr said people are going to be charged. Now, I know we've been hearing this for a very long time. However, he also made the statement that something something um, which he may not consider such a big revelation, other individuals may consider a big revelation. So let me share with you what's really going on. Okay, so the Epic Times is reporting that Trump the charge against corrupt FBI lawyer is just the beginning. And if you remember, this lawyer was responsible for rewriting an email to justify to the FISA court for these unlawful search warrants. So I will read the charge and expected guilty plea of a former FBI lawyer involved in the probe of President Donald Trump's 2016 campaign is just the beginning, Trump told reporters on Friday. So we have some very interesting news. Kevin Kleinsmith, a corrupt FBI attorney who falsified FISA warrants in James Comey's very corrupt FBI is expected to plead guilty. The president announced at the beginning of a press briefing at the White House in Washington. Kleinsmith was charged by the U.S. Attorney John Durham, who is delving deep into how the probe into Trump's campaign unfolded before the Republican was elected president. According to a court filing, Klein Smith removed content from an email he forwarded to an FBI special agent to dramatically change information regarding a former Trump campaign associate from positive to negative. That's just the beginning. I would imagine because that what happened should never happen again, Trump added. He's pleading guilty. It's a terrible thing. A terrible thing, he continued. The fact is they spied on my campaign and they got caught. And you'll be hearing more. Durham's bombshell was previewed late Thursday by the Attorney General William Barr, who said in a cable news appearance that there was going to be a development in the Durham probe of Crossfire Hurricane. Barr indicated that Durham's August 14th action would be followed by more announcements. There are going to be significant developments on this before the election, he told Fox News host Sean Hannity. Barr assigned Durham last year to probe the FBI's investigation of the Trump campaign with a special focus on whether it was free of improper motive. The probe was designated as a formal criminal investigation later in 2019. <clears throat> Trump is among those anxious to see results from the review urging Barr to do the right thing. I hope they're not going to be politically correct and say, well, you know, let's just get the lower guys and that forged the documents going into FISA or the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, Trump said on Thursday. Bill Barr can go down as a great attorney general in the history of our country, or he can go down as just an average guy. Depends on what is going to happen, he added. The Department of Justice didn't respond to a request for comment on Trump's remarks. The president also took a shot at the FBI director, Christopher Wray, after suggesting someone besides himself nominated Wray for the job. We have an election coming up. I wish he was more forthcoming. He certainly has not been, the president said. The FBI declined to comment. So, as you can see, finally... The investigation has led to an arrest of the corrupt 
FBI attorney that rewrote wording to make it seem as if there was wrongdoing when there was not. So I'm going to share with you real quick uh, another video, and this is them speaking about that. Fox News alert now. The Associated Press is now reporting that a former FBI lawyer will plead guilty to making a false statement in the first criminal case coming from the John Durham probe into the Russia investigation. That former lawyer is Kevin Kleinsmith. The Durham probe, of course, looking into the origins of the Russia investigation after the FBI opened that into whether the Trump campaign was coordinated with Russia in the 2016 election. Kleinsmith is being charged in federal court in Washington and is expected to plead guilty to one count of making a false statement, according to his attorney. The Durham investigation has caused deep concern among Democrats. They call it a politically charged exercise meant to relitigate an already closed investigation. So, Trace, we're just now getting the break of details on this as the AP is now reporting uh, that that has come from the Dur Durham probe. Yeah, and you go back to the DOJ IG report, and this kind of came up where Kevin Kleinsmith was accused of, uh, of tampering with some of the information that was turned in to the FISA court over one of those FISA warrants to, you know, surveil Carter Page. And so that was the whole crux of the deal there. And now they were saying, you know, there could be some criminal indictments coming out of this. Kevin Kleinsmith is the first. We do not yet know what the remainder of John Durham's findings are, but we will find that out. And again, mm -hmm. Bill Barr said last night, don't expect bombshells today, but there will be information coming out before the yeah. election, which I think is key to all this. The New York Times is saying Kleinsmith will admit he changed an email from the CIA that was used in seeking renewed mm -hmm. court permission in 2017 for a secret wiretap on the president's campaign, advi uh, campaign advisor, Carter Page. Okay, so what you need to know, why is this so important? Kevin Kleinsmith, the corrupt FBI attorney who falsified FISA warrants, and I love how they write that, and to me that's sugarcoating it. No, he committed perjury against a known CIA asset, Carter Page. And I'm bringing this up to show you just how corrupt that they were. They knew Carter Page was an operational contact for the CIA, was given a positive assessment, and that specific attorney, Kevin Kleinsmith, has now been charged because of falsifying the information in an email in order to obtain the FISA warrant. This is huge. Now, why do I say this is huge? because now the ball is starting to roll. Now we're starting to see some accountability. But I wanted to make sure that you understand, Carter Page, if you remember, he was headline news, mainstream media, fake news, all of that was constantly bombarding us with Carter Page being um, a Russian asset, with him working with Russia. Russia, 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 reality. Carter Page was an operational contact for the CIA. This individual, um, Kevin Kleinsmith, who was a corrupt FBI attorney, who was the individual who falsified emails, taking out information showing that Carter Page was actually working for the CIA itself, took it out intentionally in order to be able to justify the FISA warrants. This is huge. The ball is starting to roll. Praise God, the ball is starting to roll. It is time for these indictments to go down. But I wanted to show you, the FBI did fail to disclose Carter Page was an operational contact for the CIA and was given positive assessment. Now, Carter Page has been fighting in the courts ever since this mess began. He also uh, has been very much behind the exposing of the evidence that is going on. So I'm going to read you a 2019 report by the Daily Caller. The FBI failed to inform surveillance court judges that Carter Page was in operational contact for the CIA for years and that 
an employee at the spy agency gave former Trump aide a positive assessment, according to a Justice Department report released on Monday. The finding is included in a list of seven of the FBI's significant inaccuracies and omissions in the applications for the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act or FISA warrants against Page, a longtime energy consultant who joined the Trump campaign in March of 2016. The report said the FBI omitted the information it obtained from another U.S. government agency about its prior relationship with Page. The agency approved Page as an operational contact from 2008 until 2013, according to the report. Page had provided information to the other agency concerning his prior contacts with certain Russian intelligence officers, one of which overlapped with facts asserted in the FISA application, the report stated. Page told the Daily Caller News Foundation he believes the agency in question is the CIA. Page has previously said he provided information to the CIA and the FBI before becoming ensnared in the Bureau's investigation of the Trump campaign. The report stated an employee with the CIA assessed Page candidly described the contact he had with Russian intelligence officer in 2014, but the FBI cited Page's contact with the officer to assert in its FISA applications that there was probable cause to believe that Page was working as a Russian agent. The IG faulted the FBI for failing to disclose to FISA judges that Page was an operational contact for the CIA for five years and that Page had disclosed to other agency contacts that he had with Intelligence Officer 1 and certain other individuals. The report also stated the FBI omitted that. The other agency's employees had given a positive assessment of Page's candor. The IG said that the FBI's failure to disclose Page's relationship with the CIA was particularly concerning because an FBI attorney had specifically asked an FBI case agent whether Page had current or prior relationship with other federal agency. FBI agent falsely asserted Page's relationship was outside scope of the investigation because it dated back to when Page lived in Moscow from 2004 to 2007. This representation, however, was contrary to information that the other agency had provided to the FBI in August of 2016 which stated that Page was approved as an operational contact of the other agency from 2008 to 2013 after Page had left Moscow, the IG report stated. The report also said Page's CIA contacts considered him to have been candid about his interactions with the suspected Russian intelligence officer who was later indicted for acting as an unregistered agent of Russia the CIA declined to a request for comment. So this is why it is so important. Page was actually working with, uh, had been formally working with the CIA. This FBI, uh, this FBI attorney, Kevin Kleinsmith, omitted those facts in the email falsified those facts in order to obtain the FISA warrants on Carter Page in order to be able to use that to spy on the Trump campaign. Carter Page was their open door, per se. Carter Page was the way that they went in because they were trying to claim that Carter Page was who they were surveilling because they thought that he could possibly be uh, a Russian asset. So therefore, let me get this straight so that everybody understands. Carter Page was working <laughs> as an operational contact for the CIA. The FBI, corrupt FBI attorney Kevin Kleinsmith, and you know this didn't just come straight from him, but Kevin Kleinsmith, the, the corrupt FBI attorney who falsified FISA warrants, did so 
to go after Carter Page under the auspices that he was a Russian agent in order to be able to spy on President Trump the entire time knowing that Carter Page was an operational contact for the CIA and now today finally the individual who was responsible for falsifying those documents and that is perjury let let's get that clear that is a felony perjury is a felony and you can get up to five years in prison for perjury so that is the good news for today heads are finally starting to roll thank you uh to fox news i'm gonna leave links in the description box below so that you can access the full um reports that you want to access as well as the news reports if you would like to follow me on parlor i am trying to switch off of facebook because of the censorship so if you would like to follow me on parlor you can follow me and find me on parlor at live with lori l-i-v-e-w-i-t-h-l-o-r-r-i -E it is truly a free speech zone this right here is what my parlor account looks like so if it looks like anything else that is not me and as always everyone make sure that you keep hope keep prayer and keep fighting because america is rising these criminals will answer for their crimes as always, watch your backs, check your facts. Semper Fidelis, and have a wonderful night.